blockchain.com. Hum, 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 hum. I want to imagine the kinds of questions that a six-year-old might ask in a free society around the year 2100. The kinds of questions they might ask about the era we're living in now. And Daddy, why did all those people die in the L.A. incident in, 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 in 2020? Why didn't they just leave? Well, son, the government wouldn't allow them to have air cars. They had to get out using cars that could only travel on wheels, like on roads and stuff. Or, uh, I learned today in school that uh, pe people, people in Massachusetts, a bunch of them died during the Great Power Outage. You mean in uh, 2030, son? Yeah. How come they didn't just turn on their portable heaters or their fusion stoves? Uh, well, son, back in those days, people were discouraged from having independent power. There are, there are a lot of places in the country where, you know, they would take you to jail if you didn't hook up to the power grid. Or at least they'd uh, fine you or, you know, try to make you get back on the power grid. So people just tended to use the power grid. So what's the power grid, Daddy? Well, back in those days, you know, people had to... Basically, or most people had to... Like, if they wanted to run their holodecks, they'd have to plug them into the into a, like a plastic thing on the wall and that connected them to a big power station in another part of the town. Oh, and well actually they didn't have they didn't have VR, they didn't have holodecks back then. They called them laptops and playstations and they they just had one screen like they didn't surround you with what was going on. You had to just play the action on a little screen in front of you. Does that make sense? Well, and everything took power that way. Your uh, washing machine, your well we don't uh, you know, maybe you don't know what a washing machine is, but the the devices you used to clean your clothes or the devices that you got heat with, almost all of it came, you would have to have it piped in the electricity or the gas from some other place. Why would people want to do that, Daddy? Well, son, it was mostly, it's not that they wanted to do it. It was just that the, the governments back then sort of, they discouraged people from uh, starting businesses, making new inventions. They kind of wanted to keep things just the way they were. To some extent. Well, why did they want that, Daddy? Well, it was because they were too close to the, they were too close to these 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 power companies, the people that created the energy and sent it to the houses, and they wanted to, you know, the, the, those companies would sort of partially run the government. Does that make sense? Well, Daddy, why why didn't people just pick a new government? Like, a, like if I wanted, if I lived in a house and I wanted to have like the portable electricity that they didn't let me have, why, why couldn't, why didn't people just, I mean, if that was happening to me, I could just pick a different leader, right? And uh, join his, uh, his, what did, what, what did they call it? Uh, community, son. Yeah, he, I could have joined his community. Well, son, see, government didn't work the same way back then as it does now. Uh, and, of course, it's different everywhere now. But back around, you know, before the modern era, there was, uh, well, the thing is you would only have one government. You couldn't pick another government. Now, you could uh, you could vote uh, for a different leader. But if you lost the vote, you would still have to live under the leader that you did not pick. Does that make sense? Um, um... So, there would be one leader over this whole area, but, I mean, just one leader over everybody? Just just one government? Like, I couldn't pick a different government? Not really, son. Uh, the, the, the winner in each election, the winning party, you know, if they had enough people, they would just rule over everybody pretty much by themselves. And everybody that wanted to choose to be under a different leader, they would actually have to get up and move to a different country. I'm glad I'm alive now and not back then. I probably, I probably would have had a Jopi and Ampy fly all our stuff to uh, Vesta, maybe, so we could live there where there weren't any people yet. Well, no, no, son, that that wouldn't have worked either because they didn't have flying interplanetary 
robot ships with personalities back then. I mean, they didn't. You, you couldn't have one. People couldn't have them. Does that make sense? Uh, only the governments could have them. And if you tried to, if you tried to build something that would leave the planet, they would do all these things that would get in your way. Does that make sense? You mean the government, like the the people that 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 they told everybody what to do, and you couldn't you couldn't pick another one, right? So they were kind of like monopolies, and there was um, a monopoly is uh, what is it? How do I explain it? A monopoly is a like a group of people that they're the only ones that provide a particular service. So again, back in the the old days before the modern times. These old style governments were the only ones, they were sort of the only ones that governed. You know, and if they said, like, uh, for instance, the government that used to exist in Washington that ruled over all 300 million Americans, that, you know, when that government would say to people, you know, every, they would, they almost didn't need to say it because everyone just assumed it, they would, uh, you know, you can't build a spaceship in your backyard, you can't start a company that designs a spaceship that you can build in your backyard, uh, you know, unless you get our permission. Well, so how did, how did we have spaceships then? How come, uh, how did anyone ever leave the planet? Well, what would happen is these big governments, they would, they would force a bunch of people who lived around the country, like in, a, in the American situation, the government in Washington would force all the Americans, basically, to help it build one spaceship and then it only it could use the spaceship, right? It would take away, you know, maybe 10% of what uh, all the people in the country earned at their jobs. It would take that money away from them and put it put it into the government's programs. And one of those programs was building one spaceship. <laughs> when they, when they eventually they built more, but it was still really, it was so inefficient that there was not very many people that went into space. And there were... I mean, it costs, if you think about that that um, that quarter ounce of gold that you've got in your pocket right now, it costs cost that much just to send your communicator into space. Oh, but my, but my communicator doesn't weigh anything. Well, it does weigh a little bit. It weighs about, I don't know, 15 or 25 grams. And, you know, it would cost about 15 or 25 grams of gold to get 15 or 25 grams of anything into space. Does that make sense? Oh... Why did it cost so much? Well, it was because of a lack of competition, basically, uh, and the fact that the governments were kind of doing it mostly by themselves, and they weren't very efficient. Because, see, when you like, if you think about it, when you go to school, son, let's say you were the only person at school today who had a lunch. Nobody else had any food. Uh, uh, how much do you think your classmates would pay you for, for your lunch? I mean, compared to what they'd pay you on a normal day, they'd pay you a lot more, right? Because they're all hungry and you've got all the food. Does that make sense? Yeah, but but they just use the replicator. <laughs> well, they didn't have replicators back. Okay, okay. Well, we gotta we have to assume that the replicators are broken. Okay, son. If the replicator was broken, Mrs. Maxwell would just use her communicator. To have Jixi go out and fly over to General Robotics and bring us another one. <laughs> First of all, remember, son. Okay, communicators—they they were very primitive back then, and I mean, they didn't even allow people to have communicators uh, until, like, I mean, it was um, they, they were invented basically in the, I mean, the, the kind of the kind that you have a, a crude version of that had been invented by the '60s. But the, like the, the the 1960s, but the the authorities wouldn't allow anybody to build them and make a profit on them, right? So by the time anyone had a communicator, it was years into the future, and they were really big and bulky. And I mean, most people didn't even have a communicator in the year, um, uh, say 1990, even though they'd been invented basically in the 1960s. And and, and replicators didn't exist either. Basically, they didn't have replicators until uh, you know around 20. 14. I mean, they had the the crude kind, the crude version that could it could only do certain things. It couldn't you couldn't make food with it basically, and, you know. And the real good ones didn't come out until later because the government kept getting in the way, and you know they they would arrest people who built replicators that did, that that weren't uh, you know what nerfing is, son. You know what they've heard that term. It's like when you take something and you make it so that it doesn't work very well. Well, the government would make people build these replicators. They weren't called replicators back then. They were called 3D printers. They would make them build 3D printers 
that didn't work, <laughs> right? right? I mean, you could do some things with them, but you couldn't do everything you wanted because the government imposed all these restrictions. What's a restriction, Daddy? Well, a, restri <laughs> well the, a restriction is basically saying you can't do this, right? So they would say you cannot... Well, the reason they had restrictions was because people were using replicators to build um, PPGs and stun guns and rifles and things like that. Things they were supposed to get with, they were supposed to go to a store and get the government's permission before owning those things. Does that make sense? The government didn't want them to be able to build their own. So they started restricting 3D printers so that they couldn't build those things. But if they couldn't build those things, then they couldn't build a bunch of other things. And so replicator, the... The really good replicators, it took a, lo a much longer time to develop those. Does that make sense? Because the government said no. So when you had the like the big the big power outage, uh, the the great outage, um, people didn't have any independent replicators that they could use to build portable heaters and infusion generators and stuff. And when they didn't have any power to run, they didn't have any power to run the three D printers that they had. Does that make sense? Most of them did, and that's why so many people died. You, you, you probably don't have to worry about that happening to you, son, because everything's pretty decentralized now. So we don't have to rely on the power station a couple of miles away. We have most of what we need right here in the house, and we can we can create what we don't have if we discover we need it. It wasn't like that back in the old days. Everything was just too connected and too controlled. Wow, actually, I could go on like this for half an hour. Maybe later I will. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet. Chock full of privacy and security features. Two-factor authentication. A second password for sending coins. They never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com um 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 um